So all week this week, we've been looking at Proverbs chapter 6, beginning in verse 16, and we've been taking a look at the things that God says that he hates and the things that are abominable to him. And so as we look at those things, we're going to wrap it up in this one last thing in verse 19. It says, and the one who spreads strife among brothers, the one who spreads strife among brothers. And you know, when you look at that word brothers, it's a, it's a family relationship. It's a family by a bond that there you are, your, your brothers. And so the one who spreads strife among his own brothers, he spreads that strife and he's always causing some kind of trouble and he's always causing some kind of heartache and some kind of pain and some kind of division amongst his own brothers. The Bible says God hates that. And not only does he hate that, it's an abomination to him. And I see people within their own families, within their own families, they're always stirring up some kind of strife. And you know, through Jesus Christ, Christians are brothers and sisters in Christ. And I see people all the time that are stirring up strife within the church. And as they're stirring up strife within the church, they're causing division, they're causing hard feelings, they're, they're causing all sorts of strife within the church. And I want you to understand in the same way, God hates that. He probably hates it all the more because the church is the body of Christ. The church is the bride of Christ. And you're causing that division. And you're causing that strife. And here it is that we need to understand we're going to be held accountable for that one day. God hates that. It's an abomination unto him. And then we look at our nation today. And we have so many people within our nation. Listen, we are one nation. The United States of America, we ought to be the United States of America, but we're not being the United States of America because we have people that are trying to ingrain hate into you. They're trying to inject hate into you, and they're trying to cause that hate to rise up within you to where you hate other Americans and you hate America itself. You hate this country. And they're trying to do that for a reason. You need to understand. Those who are spreading strife within their own families, those who are spreading strife within the church, those who are spreading strife within our nation, all our brethren here, or ought to be, those who are spreading strife within these things, they all have one thing in common. They're out for themselves and for themselves alone. Whatever can elevate them, whatever can exalt them, whatever can bring attention to them, whatever can bring promotion to them, whatever can further their cause, if they can bring strife and divide everybody else and tear up everything else, as long as they come out looking like the good guy, everything's okay. There's no problems here. You can destroy the nation, you can destroy a church, you can destroy a family. But if you come out smelling like a rose, hey, it's okay. You're the one who did it, but everybody else gets the blame. Hey, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Because God knows and God sees. He knows all things and he sees all things. And he hates that one who has spread strife among his brothers. It's about your own personal gain. So well, what about my wants? What about your wants? Friends, if, it's, if you're a Christian, understand it's not about you. It's not about you now and it never has been about you. You know, so how can you say that? Because you died to you. What did Apostle, the Apostle Paul say? He said, Galatians 2.20, he said that I have been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who live, but he who lives within me. You died to you once you became a Christian. Now, I recognize the majority of the people who do those things are not Christians. And understand, you're standing on the very wrong side of God. And you need to get right with God. You need to repent and you need to turn to Jesus 
before it's everlasting too late. Ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins. Accept him into your life as your Lord and as your Savior. Friend, he'll give you a brand new heart and a brand new life. And as Christians, we need to have nothing to do with the one who's busy spreading the strife among his brethren.